A little heat, a little rain. Paul Barris has it all for you this evening. That's right. I got some thunderstorms that are popping here and there. The worst of the weather tomorrow is going to be to the west of us. Heavy duty, it's just not tomorrow either, Wednesday, probably into Thursday and Friday. Heavy duty rain is going to be falling across Great Plains. I think there's going to be stories about flooding out there out into the Great Plains. Right now, we got some pretty good thunderstorms that are starting to pop, moving out of uh, northeastern part of uh, Alabama heading right towards Marion County and some are already just a few isolated ones are building up into Dade County, Walker County, moving into Catoosa County. The bulk of the heavier rain though has been up towards uh, looks like the Altamont area and all the way down to about Monteagle. So Grundy County is getting hit the hardest but Stevenson's had some really good showers and storms and that's all pushing to South Pittsburgh, Jasper and then it'll be spreading all across Hamilton County if it holds together. There are some really nasty storms that are moving across southern part of Nashville, the suburbs of Nashville to the south, especially the Franklin area, heading towards Murfreesboro right now. Big thunderstorms crossing the river heading towards Memphis. Tornado watch in Arkansas, and it could spread into the Memphis area too if it holds together. And then more severe thunderstorms out in the western part of the Great Plains. Currently it's 90 in the city, 86 Cleveland, 89 Dalton, 85 in Murphy. Winds out of the south southwest at 10. And as Allison was talking about, that pollen count's gone up, especially the ragweed pollen. 99 is the heat index, 97 in Dalton, 93 in Cleveland, 95 Athens. 91 was the high today in the city, 75 the overnight low. And at the airport, about four hundredths of an inch of rain fell. Skywatchers told me it was hot south of the city, 93 Chatsworth. Otherwise, near 90 or so. And then across the metro area, 89 in Cleveland. A few places like Ringgold and Saudi Daisy had about a tenth of an inch of rain. Red Bank at about 90 and then about 91 Pikeville and only in the low 80s from Cagle Mountain to Comont and Altamont and about 83 out near Turtle Town, 87 out near Murphy and uh, Delano was 92. All right, looking at Vipercast, <clears throat> most of the showers and storms tomorrow are going to be from Nashville on northwest up towards Clarksville, Paducah, Kentucky. That's where the heavy duty rain is going to be. And then the same thing probably into Thursday afternoon, most of the showers and storms will be to the north and west of us. A few could move into the Cumberland Plateau, maybe Van Buren County, Bledsoe County, Grundy County. And then uh, on Friday, showers and storms are possible, mainly again north and west of the city, small chance. I think Saturday will be a dry day and it's going to be cooler and drier too. That'll be nice. That'll be wonderful. Tonight, 75, showers will be ending and the storms too. Uh, tomorrow, 92, partly cloudy and southwesterly wind. Tomorrow night, fair and 73. That's pretty nice, but still pretty humid. Seven-day forecast, only a 20% chance Thursday and Friday. Saturday, I think, is dry and cooler. Look at those lows into the 60s for a change. 86 Saturday, 86 Sunday. And then humidity goes up and scattered thunderstorms will rebuild on Labor Day, Monday, also into Tuesday when you go back to work with temperatures at about 85. But next few days, David, going to be very, very hot and humid. Heat index about 100 to 103 degrees.